Okay, so there actually is a way to safe spot this guy. What you gotta do is talk to these other mercenaries. They won't attack you, and then you can use them to safe spot the captain. Like, uh, this. There you go. Alright, we got the next clue, and it is in Varak. Okay, cool. Okay, the next clue is in... Da, da, da. Relica. Okay, not too bad. Hopefully the reward? Nope, but hopefully we can do it. Yep. Alright, give us something juicy. Not the reward. Hopefully we can still do it. Alright. Uh. Yeah, so I just gotta get my defense up, and I think we can buy that. So that shouldn't be too bad. Alright, we're just killing some goblins to get our defense up, and we got an easy clue. Let's do it. Okay, so I originally went on way too long of a rant about this, so I'm redoing it right now. Basically, for the next clue, I need to get a ruby ring. I thought Crawling Hands dropped them, but it turns out they only drop up to Emerald. Turns out there are tons of ways to get ruby rings, but I only strongly considered four of them. I'll drop a link to a Reddit thread where I discussed all of the options I discovered, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Alright, option number one. There's an NPC in Xanaris that straight up sells you ruby rings for 2,085 coins. His name is Erxel, and I guarantee you've never heard of him. Uh, this would be good because it would still require a sacrifice of a hefty chunk of GP to make up for the levels I'd be gaining, which would be 31 crafting and 36 woodcutting to do Lost City. I eventually decided against this just because that's too many levels. It's like 50 additional levels from what I've already got. Option number two, ham storerooms. You have heard of this. Uh, to do this, I'd need to get partial completion of the Death to Dordishin quest, which would require at least 23 agility and 23 thieving, plus 17 mining for Lost Tribe. Plus, at the end of Lost Tribe, you get 3,000 mining experience, which would get me up to 22. That's a lot of skilling levels, and the ruby ring isn't guaranteed right away once I'm in the storerooms, so it may even be more extra thieving levels. Option number three, bird's nests. Alright, there's a lot of ways to get bird's nests, most of which are very inconsistent. I could do bird houses. This would require five hunter just to start, plus 25 construction to make the clockwork. I'd also get a ton of hunter XP for actually collecting the nests, so I wouldn't end up anywhere near five hunter. It also requires a hundred kudos just to get to Fossil Island, which would be a lot of questing, probably a lot of XP. Chopping trees. Self-explanatory, but very inconsistent. It's a 1 out of 256 chance per log, so who knows how high my woodcutting would get before I'd get a bird's nest that actually had a ruby ring. Killing the giant mole. Very tough to do at low combat, but I found out through that Reddit thread uh, that if your main, or anyone else, poisons a monster using a blowpipe and serp helm, they don't actually have to deal any damage to them to poison them, and then your Iron Man can do the final bit of damage, and the Iron Man will get the drop. I didn't want to do this because it kind of seems scummy to, like, basically kill the thing with my main. It just didn't quite feel right. Last option, there's more, but these are the ones I liked, Gnome Restaurant. So this was the one I was closest to doing, mostly because it would be such, like, unique content. You can do the gnome cooking mini game at 29 cooking. Bird's nests are an uncommon reward from doing deliveries. The issue with that is since it's an uncommon reward and then ruby rings are rare from a bird's nest, it might take a lot of cooking XP and who knows. All right, option number four, just get the dang crafting level. Well, it sucks to get so many skilling levels. I, I knew I'd end up needing 31 crafting for an emerald amulet. Uh, it's another easy clue item, and the only way to get those is either crafting or ham store rooms. So basically boiled down to this or the ham store rooms in the end, and I went with this because it would gain me fewer overall skilling levels, and it would be 100% guaranteed once I was done, whereas the ham might gain me some extra thieving levels. Thank god I got all that money from the last clue. This shit is expensive. Oof, that hurts, but here we go. This is going to be good. This should be, like, a pretty, pretty good chance this is the reward. Let's get it. Running on a run. 
first medium casket. Here we go. Let's get some good stuff. That's an upgrade for sure. I can't wear it yet. Pest control will not great. I can sell the death runes. So overall, fine, but not the best. Miss the Lin mystery completed. We got our ruby. Goblin diplomacy completed. We got our gold bar. Alrighty, here we go. We're about to get 33 crafting. And then once we get 33 crafting, we're going to use the poison chalice to hopefully get up to uh, 34. Cut this. Nope, that one didn't work. Alright. Nope. Nope. Six and a half hours later. Feel a lot better. Feel a little strange. Nice. Cut it. Uh. Ring. Let's go. Alright. Perfect. Alright. A lot of work went into this dang clue. Hopefully, give me something easy. What do you got for us? Nice and easy, perfect. Here we go. Nice casket, come on. Eh, not very good. But, hey, we got the requirements done, so it was all worth it. Hey, we got another one. I found a really good spot to kill the goblins. There's just like six of them in here, so it's really good. Uh, okay, so I gotta go to Karend. Alright, we gotta go do Klein and Karend quest. Okay, this is the next clue. Uh, we gotta get the gold necklace from the wilderness and the bronze spear from goblins. We've already got a gold ring in the bank from the crawling hands. <sighs> I got BK outside the lava maze. I hope they enjoy my fucking bones. Because that's all they got. Cue the sad violin again. Look at this sad boy. He died again. He's so sad. Just kidding, this one was on purpose. I got all my items. Alrighty, what you got for us? Give me something good. Not what I wanted, but let's give us something easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Alrighty, you know what to cough up. That's what I wanted. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! No more short bow. Let's go. That's awesome. Our range bonus is going to be so much better. All right, look at this. We go from 8 to 20 range bonus. Obviously, it's a bit slower, but I've been using accurate anyway because uh, low on arrows. So if I put this on rapid, I'm sure that it'll more than even it out. I'm also going to quickly sell this Staff of Air to Zap for 825 because that's an extra one. It's pretty good cash infusion. Alright, you can't make this up. <laughs> My luck here is way too good. That was the first one. Oh, okay. This might be tough. Mithril Plate Skirt. I know there's a Plate Skirt store. And a full longbow. Is 30 ranged? Yeah. But that's not too far off. So the issue will probably just be the money to buy the mithril plate skirt. We'll see. Oof. These are some steep prices. Alright. 640 for the maple longbow. And it is 2600 that mithril plate skirt so we better be able to finish this clue but it shouldn't be too hard to get everything okay i was looking more into it uh to do this step you have to go to the mausoleum which is here and you can only get to there uh during or after the creature Frankenstrain's quest for that you need 25 thieving, but I'm pretty sure that's only at the very, 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 very end of the quest, and I don't need to complete the quest to get to this spot, so I 
think I should be able to do it just fine. Restless ghost completed. All right, we're back at it. Getting our range up to 30. We got another clue scroll. What do we got? Not too bad. Okay, so the next step was I need a coif. I got that. Steel plate skirt. I can buy that. I'll probably have to sell something. Sapphire necklace is the problem. Um, I have a sapphire from Miss, well, uncut sapphire from Miss and Mystery. I don't have a gold bar. Um, what I think I'm going to do for the gold bar is just go complete waterfall quest. Um, the only monsters that drop it seem to be that I can kill right now are rogues. But when you go to the page about gold bars, it says that rogues drop it. But when you're actually looking at rogues, it doesn't say that they drop it. And it says that it's a rare drop from them anyway, so... I don't really want to go for that. Um, I don't get any skill experience anyway. I only get combat experience from Waterfall Quest. So it's not too bad. Alrighty, we're actually finishing up selling our death runes. We got just over 2k from selling the 19 death runes. I hopped each world because I really need to maximize my money right now. So that's a good chunk of cash. Alrighty, put the urn on the chalice and we are completed with waterfall quest we're gonna get a lot of strength and attack which is good yoink yoink <laughs> there we go all right this is a big moment we're using our first non-free teleport of the account Ooh, look at that. Alrighty, hopefully we can get the reward here. That would be very nice. Nope. Alright. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got the emerald ring. I guess we can... Mm, we gotta get a sapphire. Bronze chain body shouldn't be hard. Alright. Good thing we got two gold bars. Yoink. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Alright, kill me. <laughs> Thank god. Oh, one hit. Thank god that guy's there. Alrighty. Here's the amulet. There we go. Now we just gotta string it. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, give me something good. I think we earned it, don't you? Yeah. Alright, got the reward. Something good. Ooh, we didn't have a helmet, and that's food. And extra money from the second helmet? I'm into it. Uh, Could have been better, but pretty good. Oh, yeah. Looking fierce AF. Alright. Getting real close to 30 range, but we got ourselves another easy clue. Hopefully we don't have to go over all over the fucking world again. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. What you got, Zeke? Give me. Uh, do we have that? I can't remember if I already bought this or not. If not, it's not hard to get. Yoink. All right, give me something good. What do we got? What you got for me? Alright, I can do that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. The clue, come on. Ooh, nice, that's right there. Alright, this one's definitely the reward. Let's see what we can get. Yes, alright, that's a lot of ranged bonus. We The only ranged bonus we had before was the coif, so that will help. A hell of a lot. It's also pretty good defense. I don't think it's as good as our black plate body, though. Alrighty. Getting the maple longbow. Cash stack's getting a little low, but those death runes really helped a lot. Alrighty. This will be 30 ranged. Right now. So we can equip our maple longbow. And let's go get this clue done. 
Alrighty, this one did take a while, so hopefully it'll give us something that's not too hard to do. Talk to me, Yuri, what you got? Got the clue. Death Plateau. I think that means quests. Let me check it out. Okay, turns out um, this guy is involved in the Death Plateau quest, but you don't actually have to even start the quest to talk to him, which is good. Alright, perfect. Another easy one. Alright, it is possible for medium clues to be three steps. It is. Alright. What do we want? I mean, it's a very, very long shot, but I'd love some boots. Um, any adamant or mithril weapon would be good. Or just a unique. It's been a while since we've had a unique. Alright, let's get it. Uh, okay, that's it. I was disappointed, but it's actually really good. I, I think the Addy Dagger is probably actually better than the Black Longsword. Addy Plate is obviously fantastic. Chaos Runes will be some decent money, or if I want to keep them for Mage Training. So, even though I wanted a unique, it was still pretty good upgrades. Okay, so let's look at the upgrades really quick. This is more of a sideways move than an upgrade. Um... The bonuses are slightly worse, so I go from 18 to 15 attack bonus and 16 to 14 strength. But the quicker attack speed probably makes it worth it. Although for something like goblins, maybe not, because I'm usually one-hitting them anyway. And then the defensive bonus on the black to adamant plate body is pretty big. It goes up by like 20 in each, so that's pretty awesome. Fully decked out, we've got our first bonuses over a hundred. That's fantastic. That that happened way quicker than I ever thought it would. Hey, we got another clue. I've resized my thing. I like this a lot better. So let's see what we got. I can do that. So uh, this is awkward. I thought we had another gold bar, and we don't. We have the emerald. So I gotta figure out how to get another gold bar. Alright, so what I found out, I think the easiest way for me to do it without getting any skilling levels is to kill gang members in the organized crime, uh, like, minigame, I guess I'll call it, for the Shazian house. Uh, but to do that, I need 40% Shazian favor. You get 0.1 per one of these that we, uh, complete, so... Gotta do, gotta heal 400 of these guys, so that'll take a minute. Oh. There it is. That was not fun. <laughs> uh, but now we can go kill gang members to get the gold bars. Okay, there should be a gang here. There was supposed to be one here. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Any second now, they should be here, and I'll get the jump on them. Okay, it seems like I can attack one of them, and the main guy doesn't attack me. Oh, shit. Wait, I think I'm good. Hopefully. Okay, well. Oh, God! Uh... <laughs> Okay, well, we got one kill. So, I wasn't recording, but something really weird just happened. Uh, I got back in time, and the gang members were still here. I was in combat with one, and he just died. <laughs> like, I didn't kill him. He lost 39 health all at once. And they all said, it took crime, and left. So... It seems like push comes to shove. If I just wait till they're about to leave and am in combat with one, I'll get a kill. So that's pretty good. I'm going to keep these drops for now, but I'll probably drop them once I'm done with this. I'm just kind of intrigued to see what I get. I can also never decide which is better between the short bow and the, long, the willow longbow, because... 12 extra range bonus is worth a lot, but so is attacking a lot faster, so shrug. It seems like these guys are kind of hard to hit, so I think it, the accuracy might be worth it. <sighs> Damn it, cosmic runes. Alright, and one issue I'm running into is 
Turns out there's a lot of people doing this, uh, and it's a multi-combat zone, so if they attack them at all, I don't get the drop, so hopefully that doesn't happen. I died again. I'm hoping that I can get back in time, that they're still there, and crash their party. That one, they all attacked me as soon as I attacked one guy, which was bad news. Okay, I think what I'm gonna try to do is attack a gangster and climb down. And I'm hoping that that counts. Do I even go back up? Uh, okay, if you go back up, they still attack you. Uh, hopefully he just dies. I'll go back up in like a minute. Okay, so we did not get a kill for that. I think we have to be actively in combat with them when they disappear, so we'll have to figure something out. Okay, so I got a friend here, not a friend, one of my friends, to agree to be the, like, to let the gang, mem gang members aggro them. Uh... And then I'm just, they're not going to kill any of them. I'm going to just pick them off slowly. Uh, and so hopefully this will do the job. Okay, so I don't expect to get a ton of these, but I am going to count the intelligence as an XP lamp. Apparently, oh, okay. I'm going to use it in ranged for now. That's not an option. I will use it in hit points then. All right. Oh, I got so excited. I didn't get it on uh, video because I just wanted to pick it up and make sure it wouldn't disappear. Oh, my God. And we got nine of them. It, it, they drop between eight and 16. So we should never need gold bars again. Um, obviously, I'm going to drop all these. I just wanted to see what we could get. There's a few more in my bank that I put away, but I'll drop those too. 17k? Nah, homie. Not from clues. We don't need it. Oh, Alright, let's go complete that step. I only had to kill 11 gangsters, but I could only kill, like, two per, like, attempt. So, and I'm not good at this minigame, so it took me probably, like, two hours, which... Says a lot more about me than about this minigame, but it wasn't pretty. I love random things like wondering if you're the first person to ever make a gold amulet or a emerald amulet on this furnace in Artie. I bet I'm definitely the first person to string it here. There we go. Alright, I swear to god if this is another thing I can't easily do, I'm gonna punch you in the dick, Yuri. What you got? Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be bad. I think I need to go buy the iron full helmet, but I've got the other two things easily. Yoink. Alrighty, here we go. Cash stack, as previously stated, is getting very low, but we're still good for now. Alright, life hack. If you just trade away all of your hit points to RN Jesus, he will teleport you straight to Lumbridge. Alrighty, what you got for us? Yuri. Ooh, okay. Quick one. I earned it. Just give me a unique. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, good to get the sweets. Bit of money. Not too bad. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. This episode, we completed some more grinds. Got some good loot and got our highest non-combat skill for a while. Tune in next time for a special treat. We're going to cash in the levels we've earned from completing all these clues. And don't forget to be a good boy and like, comment, subscribe, and wash behind your ears.